In 1820, on the Greek island of Milos, or Milo, a peasant named Yorgos was busy building a wall. Stones were plentiful, as the countryside was dotted with ancient ruins. These ruins attracted the occasional visitor, like Olivier Voutier, a young French naval officer with a passion for archaeology. What Yorgos liked about old stones was that they were already cut and were easy to unearth with a pick. Suddenly, the ground gave way in front of him. And in the hole in the earth, Yorgos saw the head of a statue. He had never seen such a lovely face. Just then, Olivier Voutier arrived at the site. The young naval officer was captivated too. With members of his crew, he helped Yorgos dig out the rest of the statue. Although it was broken in two and had lost its arms, it was clearly a masterpiece. Perhaps an image of Venus, the goddess of beauty. Olivier Voutier was keen to buy it. And Yorgos agreed to sell. A deal was made. A few days later, the statue was loaded onto a boat, then transferred aboard a schooner. It set sail for France. One year after leaving its island, the Venus de Milo entered the Louvre. It said that the sick and elderly king, Louis XVIII, never tired of contemplating this image of classical beauty.